So yes, finally, finally, finally! So of course I'm back with it really quick. Uh, of course, um, yeah, Pokemon review episode. So yeah, um, I actually have to watch open the time around just to get some, um, oh no, I like, I like going back and forth, bite on, um, this, you know, open this stuff like that. Of course, um, it actually looks really fun for me right now. So of course, next Pokemon episode review, I just did the Claremont video episode review. You can just go and go over these really fast, really quick though, just cause, um, they're really simple and very easy to go over though, of course. Yeah, of course, time to get an episode review with the Ash versus, of course, Teresa. I can't remember her name for like a few weeks after the Causally form was so easy to curse on back then. Even now, like, legitimately, it's like crazy how that is, though. So, of course, though, let's get started, though, of course. But yeah, of course, because the um, episode starting out, of course, with well, this is a little bit, I can't remember anything. The uh, Stairs have Elite Four member, could call it that. Of course, he, see Gally, he sees Galia Farfetch. He's really excited that he evolved and trained really hard for it. Of course, we see the rest of Ash. He, sees, he starts to see the rest of Ash's team, which Ash is really shooting Galia Farfetch. And of course, Dragon Fish in this episode, so that's pretty cool. We'll see, of course, just super big. I remember the Dragon Elite 4 member, of course, come in. Um, Green Ash is like, of course, with Velataria, which is her ace Pokemon, pretty much. Yeah, the definition of death in Hoenn, by the way. <laughs> this is the definition right there, of course. Of course, she hits with Dragon Fish and stuff like that. Of course, again, her being a Dragon type Elite 4 member makes sense, so of course. And of course, right here, this little scene right here. I was like, yo, Sip City up in here. Early, it's just Sip City this episode, though. So, giving off an infectious, you know, aura and stuff like that. Of course, Ash starts to beat her, but gets the down hand right there, though. So, yeah, her eyes open in episode two. It's kind of funny, though. Of course, Ash, you know, you know like, yeah, whatever, kind of. Of course, she's getting ready for the battle and excited for it, though. Of course, though, so yeah, of course, we get to the arena. So, it's been so long since we've seen the Colossus Arena. It looks pretty much the same side tech. Yeah, but of course, her rank is 12, while Ash's rank is, what, 15, I think? So yeah, we already see, we already know the climax. We already know Ash is gonna fight Leon at this point. Uh, we already confirmed via the trailer. So, um, yeah, though, of course. Uh, uh, so, okay, that was something I was like, what the heck? But yeah, uh, of course we see them. But of course, you know, going go for you know Ash. Of course, come on, Bonnie. Of course, watching this stuff. Of course, watching go for Ash, wait for him to go and stuff. Of course, he shows up. Of course, everybody's cheering up for him to go, Clint and Bonnie, which is good to see him like, get back again in this episode. Just to see like all the results of the training. This stuff. Of course. Ash, of course, um, of course, both of them started coming out the Pokemon, and what, just Dristina? I, I really want to call her Dristina. I don't know why I want to call her that so bad. So yeah, of course, she calls out her new Wyvern, while um, Ash calls out Galia Farfetch, so of course, using the sword and the shield for the first kind of time, though, so of course, she's going to get in combination with the battle starts off. Of course, when we get the blown back, she's kind of shocked about it, but everybody else is still shocked about it, and stuff like that. Of course, seeing how strong has gotten, and stuff like that, via the last episode, of course. Uh, and Wolverine uses boom, uses boom Burst, I think? So yeah, though, it's so strong, like, well, everybody pretty much away, though. And, of course, her move the ground. Typical Ash Remover right there, though, of course. And, of course, it actually loses the Galley Farfetch. Loses, loses his leaf, though, of course. And, um, Wolverine tries to make a big explosion around it. Um, it early just gets kind of wiped away without a shield, though, of course. Starts to uh, finish it off. But, it actually finds his leak and stuff like that, of course, and protects itself again. So, of course, uh, we got that going on. What's next part right here? Uh, of course, um, you're using this new move was the book of plastic hair for life for me. Uh, of course, um, Ash tries to, to think of it right now. Ash tries to, I can't think of it. I can't think of it. Uh, of course, bust it, but actually does block it though and stuff like that. Of course, Golly Farfetch seems a little bit hurt, so of course, Ash calls it back, um, calling out, of course, you know, change of a strategy and stuff like that. Of course, I mean, it was kind of overwhelming for our first round anyway, though. So, of course, Ash calls out Dragonfish, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, of course, we see a little commercial break piece there. We see him going go for, of course, Dragonfish, you know, being the Galar Bird, the Galar Bird, the Galar mix up of, of course, all this stuff. But she's super excited about it because it's a Dragon type. Uh, and Wolverine tries to go in for an attack, but of course, Dragonfish completely fucks it with this clumsiness, funny person. Personality, biting head personality, pretty much. So, um, yeah, though, of course. You see me like this, though, there's a lot of cars out there. This is really blazing in my eyes. So, of course, she calls her Ace Altaria. Um, calling back Wolverine calls her Ace Altaria. Her Wolverine is strong, but I think it's a female strong Wolverine from the video games. So, of course, uh, everybody starts to strategize what Ash might do, though, of course. Uh, of course, and of course, Ash in his typical, typical way. This is his own thing with Dragon Fish and stuff like that, of course, is actually pretty funny. And kind of crazy in this episode, too. It's just utterly crazy, of course. I think he uses. Is he Dragon Dance? I think um, Ash tries to go over like what Hydro Cannon, Hydro Pump. I can't remember. A Water Gun. I can't remember one of the two. Of course, it accidentally falls over. Of course, she gives us some laughs about it though. Um, you know, Ash kind of messing up there. Of course, we already know what's about to happen. It's obvious. It was in the trailer. We all saw this coming. Nobody in the mom called this though, of course. But yeah, though, um, like I said, uh, fully calls out Omega Altaria, which again, like I said, is her ace from the video game. So which actually is pretty cool. So of course. Ash starts to um, dive back in though, of course, being oh, surprised off this game a little bit though. So, of course, I mean, it was obvious from the 
and previews and stuff like that again. So Quick Drunk Fish kind of gets Blade slash Slam down though, of course. Then Ash kind of calms himself down, gets himself hyped up, of course, like Evolution fight. But then, of course, they actually get the idea to completely wait itself. Then, of course, the dragon, the beast, the divine beast awakens and rise. <laughs> Just kidding, though, of course. But yeah, the divine beast awakens and rise. And the curse is shown up as. Of course, right there. So yeah, and it kind of just actually really gets full on wet. So yeah, of course, destroyed its confidence. Of course, um, the girl herself gets destroyed as well. So that's are just open. So of course, um, it's completely under the fiber gas, and of course, Carmen is coming right back with the wings. So kind of relive kind of moment there. But of course, uh, Dragonfish calls back, gets called back. Well, um, the cheers on, of course, Galia Farfetch. Just again, like I said, the episode's still pretty good. Of course, they're super shocked by the. Of course, Go, Clem, and Body are so super shocked about it and stuff like that, of course, though. But yeah, uh, they're just like, yeah, what is Ash doing, though? Of course, then the uh, battle resumes. Of course, Ash uses a new move and one shot, or the completely obliterates, um, yeah, Otaria, of course, and just again, just destroys it. Then, of course, Galia Farfetch does the same thing, too. It makes sense because the last one did get obliterated, shield messed up, everything, of course, though. So, of course, the last Pokemon get out, Dragonfish, of course, and of course, the boy gets got kind of messed up on it, too, though. So, yeah. But yeah, though, just, yeah, it gets a plus right. Of course, Dragonfish comes in, and of course, again, yeah, Farfetch is ready to go, but it gets lost, though, so Dragonfish comes in and swaps it out. Uh, well, Farfetch, of course, you know, is um, super mad about his loss and stuff like that, of course. And of course, we got the one last second, of course, Noemi coming in while Dragonfish you know, fights it off last. Of course, one heated battle, one collection battle, one boom burst later, one fight off later, uh, one Dragon Rush later, of course, and Ash completely early puts right to just get the episode wrapped up, though, of course. Ash wins his rank, of course, obviously goes up. But yeah, of course, everybody's super excited about it. Galia, Farfetch, Dragonfish, everybody's super excited, though, of course. I match destroyed another Elite Four member, so that's pretty cool. Yay! So yeah, Ash gets obliterated that, of course. And of course, she starts to respect Ash, of course, more with Dragonfish. I think, of course, yeah, of course, was the card, um, Wizly, my boy Wiz, um, Armor Wizzy. Armor Wizzy, Mahizzy, uh, of course, comes in. I have no idea what I'm saying. Um, of course, comes in, of course, um, Bonnie, of course, Ash, you know, for her to, of course, marry him and stuff like that, of course, go super shocked about it. Uh, Ash, of course, is like, yeah, he already knows about this. Of course, Wiz is like, bro, Clement's like, bro. See, I get a little moment there. I love that, though, because, again, she's a Elite Four member. I mean, she's not, like, old, but she looks good for her age. Well, Pokemon rage doesn't really even matter for all the females. They all look really good, anyway. Again, like, people too about Elite Four member, like, a girl, whatever, Pokemon. Yeah, usually does good though, but of course, in episode top, they're really good though. I love that. She kind of just, just decides though, and I love that though. I can't wait, I, I just can't wait for that. I love that. I love they kind of add that in though. So, uh, yeah, though, of course, uh, pretty good episode though, and stuff like that. Of course, um, again, I find like four members really good. Again, we already knew what we expected from the episode. Atari getting destroyed, of course, was a Dresta, Dre, Drist, Drista. Um, of course, um, like just gets decimated in the eyes of course the ending was so i love the ending with the callback because i was like the first episode didn't do it because mainly focused on ash's training which i already got the episode in a few probably ended up being done by now uh that'll go before this one obviously though just because i'm trying to do some order and stuff like that now we'll do every every episode but next couple ones are gonna be insane though but yeah, that's pretty much everything I want to kind of cover, talk about girl today. Again, the episode was good. Again, it was still purple stuff, you know, new moves. Uh, Galia, Farfetch, Dragon Fish working together. Noiver and Altaria getting early obliterated. Of course, everybody watching the sidelines again. The results from the last episode, basically playing on in fits and deaths episode, pretty much. And that's pretty much good and paid off, though. So, yeah, pretty much go ahead and the video there for sure, though. So, yeah, see you guys there, though. Thank you so, thank you so much for watching. You have a great day. Quite a good job. Good Make sure you stay safe. Wash your hands. God bless. I'll be of course. Don't forget to mask. Don't tell me. Do really, really, really. Me too. So, what do you guys think about all this stuff, though? Of course, you like to hit it again. Very really simple. Very really easy. Uh, good episode. Again, no complaints about it. Again, just very, very typical. Not a bad episode. Love the ending. Love the episode overall. Again, just focuses on Dragonfish and, of course, Galia Farfetch. Typical, typical stuff, though. So, yeah. See you guys there, though. Again, no. So...